In today's video, we'll be talking about how to turn WhatsApp off. That is, how to stop receiving WhatsApp messages without turning off internet access on your device. This is an update to a video that I've already made on the channel. So if you're interested in, in the previous video, you can browse the channel and check it out. The link will be in the description. Now, to turn off internet access to WhatsApp only, you have to download and install this app called NetGuy. It's a network monitoring app that it allows you to monitor the network access for different devices. You can turn off access to only mobile networks and you can turn off access to both mobile network and Wi-Fi. That makes it very, very versatile and very effective. Go to Play Store, download and install NetGuard on your Android device. Once you have downloaded NetGuard and installed it on your Android device, you run it, of course. On the title bar, you see a toggle button there, you turn it on because without turning it on it will not start working and filtering your network information so you turn it on give it the necessary access to your device scroll down to whatsapp click on whatsapp and there are two buttons there there is an icon that signifies mobile data and there's another icon that signifies Wi-Fi. If you tap on the mobile data, the button will turn from green to orange. When it turns from green to orange, that means that internet access to mobile data has been turned off. If the second button is still green, that means you still have access to Wi-Fi. So if you do not want to have access to Wi-Fi or if you want to deny access to Wi-Fi for that app as well, you can turn that off. It basically means that if, if the icon that represents Wi-Fi is still on that means you will only be able to access internet that is you'll be able to receive whatsapp messages only when wi-fi is on but if you turn off both wi-fi and mobile data that means that your whatsapp will not have access to any of the network or in internet connections until you turn it back on and whenever you are ready to to start receiving whatsapp messages again you can go to the app and turn on internet access for whatsapp and all your pending messages will drop and then you can do what you need to do now for iOS users, that is for iPhone users, you actually do not need to download and install any app. Just go to settings, tap on settings, scroll down to WhatsApp. Once you tap on WhatsApp, you see some options. Then you toggle turn off mobile data access. That is turn off access to mobile data, turn off um, background app refresh. And also this last step is very crucial because if you do not do this last step, if you are connected to a Wi-Fi network, you might still be receiving messages and it will look as if this tutorial did not work. So the last step is you need to go to your recent apps and then remove WhatsApp from your recent apps. This will mean that the app will, will remain in the background and will not refresh until you load the app to the foreground. If you are on mobile data, even when you load the app to the foreground, you still have to go and enable mobile data access. But if you are connected to a Wi-Fi network, even without, once you bring the, the, the WhatsApp to the foreground, it will begin receiving messages immediately. So that is how to, to turn off and on WhatsApp. Now on iOS, if you want to turn it back on, of course, you go back to settings, enable mobile data access and enable background refresh. It allows you to receive messages even when your phone is asleep. So basically, that is how to get it done on both Android and iOS. And if this video was useful to you, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. There will be a video listed on the, on the screen right now. Click and watch and I believe that it's going to be beneficial to you as you go about your mobile usage experience.